In this problem, we're told a 0.28 kilogram volleyball approaches a player horizontally with a speed of 15 meters per second. The player strikes the ball with her fist and causes the ball to move in an opposite direction with a speed of 22 meters per second. A. What impulse is delivered to the ball by the player? B. If the player's fist is in contact with the ball for 0 0.0600 seconds, find the magnitude of the average force exerted on the player's fist. So imagine this is what's going on, right? So we have this volleyball. It's going to be traveling. It's going to hit this fist, right? And so in the beginning, it's traveling at 15 meters per second. Right? And then after it's hit, it's going to be traveling 22 meters per second, but in the opposite direction. Right? And we also know its mass is 0.28 kilograms. So let's just start with A. So for A, we're trying to solve for the impulse. And so we denote impulse by the letter I. And so how do we solve for it? So you need to know what impulse equals. So the impulse is essentially the same as the change in momentum. Right? And we denote momentum by P. So it's the change in momentum. Right? So what is momentum equal? So we know momentum, P, is equal to MV. Right, so if you want to find the change in it, keep in mind uh, the mass is constant. Right, the mass stays the same throughout this, so it's just going to be right. So we say it's just going to be p final minus p initial. Right, the initial momentum minus or the final momentum minus the initial is going to be the change in it. Right, so if the final momentum is just m v final, right, because the mass is the same, it doesn't change. Minus m v initial, right, and you factor out an m, it's just going to be m times v final minus v initial. So this right here is just going to be the change in momentum. Right, and that's exactly what we're trying to uh, find. Right, the impulse, which is equal to the change in momentum. So this is the formula you're going to use: just m times v final minus v initial. Right, so this is all we got to do. So the mass right of our ball is 0.28 kilograms multiplied by v final minus v initial. So when you do this, though, you need to make sure you take into account the direction it's traveling, and we do that by using signs. Right, so since it's going to the right, so I'm going to say the right's positive and the left is negative. So 15, the initial uh, initial velocity is 15, right, and it's going to the right, so it's positive. So it's going to be minus 15. And then the final velocity is going to the left, so we say it's negative. So we're going to say minus 22, which is the final, minus 15, which is the initial, right? And this is just going to be equal to the change in it. So we'll go ahead and do this: 0.28 times minus 22 minus 15. When you do this, you're going to get it equals uh, I, right? The impulse, which is what we're solving for, equals minus 10.36. Uh, and so you can round this if you want: minus 10.4. And then keep in mind it's going to be right we measure impulse in yeah so it's gonna be minus 10.4 and then we measure it in newton seconds so minus 10.4 newton seconds so you can just write it like that so this is going to be the impulse right so that's going to be your answer to a right so now let's move on to b so for b what we're trying to solve for is if the player's fist is in contact with the ball for 0 0.06 seconds find the magnitude of the average force exerted on the player's fist so for this one, what we're trying to do is find the magnitude of average force. So there's a formula you need to know in order to solve for this, which is the um, impulse, right, I, is equal to the average force multiplied by uh, the change in time, which is essentially the contact time. Right. So we're trying to solve for F average, right? We can divide both sides by the change in time. So essentially, it's just equal to your impulse divided by the contact time, right? They tell us the contact time is 0 0.06 uh, seconds, right? So it's just going to be equal to the impulse minus 10.4 divided by 0 0.06, right? So we'll go ahead and plug this in, 10.4 divided by 0 0.06. And when you do this, you're gonna get 173, right? Minus, keep in mind it's negative, minus 173.333 and so on, right? So you can round if you want, right? But I'm just gonna make it minus 173. And then keep in mind the units are gonna be Newtons because it's force, but keep in mind what they're asking. They're asking for the magnitude of it. So when you say magnitude, essentially you just take off the minus sign. You take the absolute value. So it's really just 173 newtons. That's going to be your answer, right? So 173 newtons, that's going to be the magnitude of the average force. So the answer is uh, B, uh, or this is the answer to B, and then your answer to A was minus 10.4. But yeah, so hopefully you found this useful.